Please, Grovile. Please help Master Dialga come back to his senses with Master Dusnor. I've had the desire to change the world for some time now, but it's hard to be brave. We're ready to accept what will happen to us. Please, Grovile, stop Master Dialga for the future. I'm growing tired of this world of darkness, too. If you could change it, you could bring a better future. I saw it, Grovile. The light that emanated from your body earlier. Tell me, was that a sign that we're about to disappear? I knew. I should have known. I guess there isn't much time left for us, huh? But the shorter the time is, the brighter the radiance becomes. Anyway, all we can do is live life to the fullest within our limited time. Once you're ready, let's go. This game is so good, man! Hey, Jeremiah, welcome to the stream. Uh, all you've missed is basically all of this special episode. We've just been doing this special episode all day. Celebi. I never thought you would be caught like this. Oh, I didn't imagine that I'd get caught. I, I really didn't think Dialga himself would come after me. By the way, I didn't think you'd be coming back to this world, Grovile. I was worried that you would fail again, you know? <laughs> but I got to see you again. I'm so happy. Well, this is it, boys. We've made it to the end. It's the last step. Why do I have so many totter seats? Alright, store all that. I'm gonna take out like one more reviver seed to be safe. We can stock up on more reviver seeds back in the normal game. Give me two more. I think I have two on me, so that's four. That should be enough. Alright, save the game then. And then let's get it. Ah, nice and rhyme time. Here we go. We've only got about an hour left in stream. Man, time flies. Vast Ice Mountain. This is going to be a pretty long dungeon. I wish Celebi was the one directly behind me instead of Dusnor, because Celebi ends up falling behind a little bit because of the way Dusnor moves. It's not that big of a deal, though. But, uh, also, I love that you get Celebi. At the end of this, instead of them just keeping you with only Dusnor. It's pretty great. This game is just amazing, man. Absol, get out of here. I curse you, Crasher. Ow. I really thought... Oh my goodness, sorry. I really thought you'd die to that. Whatever, you're dead now. This is dead end. Aerodactyl. So many Pokemon with uh, pressure. Get out of here. Mine. Good thing he didn't eat that. Also mine. No, why would you do that? We could have just not dealt with it. Do, 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 do. Where, oh, where are the stairs? Oh, they're right there. Dang it. Gotta deal with the dust pops first. Another Pokemon with pressure. Does every Pokemon here have pressure as an ability? Get out. Get on over here, Absol. Right, that was just unnecessary. Can I hit something, please? Video game? Fun, uh, oh, hello. And goodbye. At least you don't have pressure. There we are. Man, this music is good. Does it, when you fight Primal Dialga at the top of this place, does it play Primal Dialga's music just like in the normal game? I don't remember. I hope it does. I think it might have its own special track, though. I can't remember. I'm sure it'll be good music either way. Can I please find the stairs? Thank you. See, if you ask nicely, then it'll do what you want. Man, we're only on the fourth floor of what's going to be like 15 to 20. This is going to take a second. Dustnor is the Donald of the party. <laughs> Goodbye. 
by Gliscor. Where, oh where, is my exit? It does play the same music again? Ah, oh, beautiful. But what? There's a smoochum here. Same theme plays? Very good. Oh no! He learned Absorb. How are you still alive? Yeah, get out of here. Why does a smoochum give so much experience? Oh, hello. I can't wait to hear it again. Don't you dare willow with me, you scumbag. Is this a Rostborn? No, it's Cherry. Rost is like a, uh, a whitish color. I was just hoping that I would have gotten that lucky. Time for your daily versus question, Chaos. Shulk versus Rex. Based on battle properties, not character. Otherwise, Shulk would win automatic. I think Shulk still wins because he has a, an actual Monado. Rex never got a Monado, did he? It's like Rex can't see the future. Shulk can. Shulk can, like, change the future with his, uh... His level 3 Monado. I would say Shulk. Oh my goodness, that killed. That's not too strong. Pliss nerf him. Where are my stairs? Shulk is so much better and stronger. I'm glad that we have some viewers of culture here today that know correct opinions. Because that one right there is incredibly correct. Come on, stairs. Where are you at? I want to get to Dialga. I want to fight him. Why would you ice punch the steel type? Mithra allows? Mithra allows what? What do you mean? Oh, Mithra's thing where he can, like, see things, like, a couple of seconds before they happen or whatever? That's not as good as Shulk's future vision. It's not as powerful. Shulk using the Monado to see the future is way better than Mithra's little, like, see things a couple of seconds before they happen shenanigans. Shulk gets to have a lot more reaction time with his future visions than, uh, Rex does. Am I already at the midway point? I am, okay. That was fast. Celebi, we've climbed pretty far. Where is this? Is it much farther to reach the pinnacle? No, not at all. The pinnacle is only a little farther. I've been thinking about what could have happened since we haven't seen Master Dialga so far. Right, I think he may have reached the pinnacle already. Let's hurry. There's a good chance that Master Dialga is already at the top. Hurry, we have to go. At the pinnacle, we'll find the passage of time. As long as the Alga hasn't destroyed it. Here we go, boys. The last step to save the future. Vast Ice Mountain Peak. Oh no, not Future Sight. Shulk has a power, Rex has a talent. Both are helpful, but one dominates. I agree with this statement. Will you please die, Smoochum? Why are these Smoochums such a problem? And why do they give so much experience? Alright, I'm expecting this mountain peak to be, like, somewhere around ten floors, give or take, like, two floors. We aren't far now. From the end. How can one video game be so... Like, dude, how does... How does... Explorers of Sky do it? Like, they have an amazing main story. 
in the main game. Then they have a post game with another main story inside of the post game that is also amazingly good, albeit a little bit slower because it is the post game. And then they, because you have to go through like Age's Cave and all that other shenanigans before you get into the really good stuff of the post game story. And then they have these special episodes. And in this special episode specifically, it's just such an amazing story. How can you have so much quality in one game? It's astounding. I love it. Easy kill. Banana. Goodbye. Working on the post game, currently working through Sky Mountain. Nice. Did Sky Mountain a few uh, streams ago. I'm in the middle of the Manaphy stuff right now. In the main story. Which we'll have some time to do a little bit of main story stuff today. I don't know how much we'll get to do, but we'll have enough time to do a little bit. Noink. They had passion, there you go. They set out to make a really good game and they freaking did it, my dude. It is so good. Celebi, you really couldn't have like stepped in a different direction to avoid that trap? Oh my goodness. Your iron defense won't save you. Goodbye. Easy knockout. Oh, come on. Oh, here we go. You know what, just kill this, uh, shadow sneak this, please. Thank you. There we are. Go away. That'll do it. There's a Magnezone behind me. Well, here we go. All right, you know what? That's how you're gonna be, take that. Easy knockout. Selby, can you beat that thing? Oh, yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it. Easy two hit. Oh, wait a minute, how much money is that? That'll be good for uh, Solo and Turk Week back in the past. Two dollars! Wasn't even worth it. Who carries around two bucks? Ridiculous. Ah, finally. Still going. Ah, thank you. I should heal up. Let my health regen here. That ought to do it. Seventh floor, man. It's going. Goodbye. 300 damage. I love that. Hey, level 48 for Dustnor. I'll take it. Celebi's a little behind. That's fun. Reviver? Totter. Whatever. Might be useful to throw him at the Alga. Betting on it being nine floors? That sounds possible. 10th floor is the pinnacle. I wouldn't be surprised if you're right. That's Norn. That was unnecessary. How dare you show me up like that. Ooh, here we go. Someone kill that Gengar, please. Thank you. Kill that too. Good one. Why, of all the things to keep running into, why do I keep running into Smoochum? Who even put Smoochum in the game? Get out of here. Easy one tap. Ooh, hello. Oh, it was eight floors. You were so close, Rain. So close. I knew it. I knew you had already reached the pinnacle. Primal Dialga. You trying to summon that Yu-Gi-Oh card with the terrible name? Yeah. Yeah. 
Are you alright? Yeah, but... But Dialga... He seems to be in pain. The planet's moving again. It seems to be bursting... Or bursting. It seems to be hurting Master Dialga's darkened heart. Celebi, look behind Dialga. Yeah, the passage of time. It would be very dangerous if the passage of time were to be damaged. This area. Just little by little, this area. It's becoming brighter. The wind is stronger. Giga giga giga. Oh! There's a light emanating from Dialga's body? Our. Our bodies too? Let's. Go! History is being distorted. History distorted? R. The end is coming. It's getting close. What? Until we disappear, we should do everything we can to bring Dialga back to his senses. Oh, for the future. Our fight. This is the final one. Solo. Turtwig. Please. Lend me your strength. Our final strength. Let's go. For the future, boys. Let's get it. How many steps away are you? Two? A once? Hopefully you don't roar time. Goodbye. You scumbag. Easy dodges. He outsmarted me? I never get tired of this track. Literally never. Oh, it's so good. Get the boosts. Get the boosts. The boosts! Who actually gets the boosts? You mad woman. Oh my goodness, even a plus one special defense that did that much. Holy cow. Over 200 damage, I'll take it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Goodbye. I should have made the fight last longer just to listen to the music. Oh, he's still mad. Gah! My body. My body's heavy. But we did it. Yeah. We finally defeated Primal Dialga. Daybreak is near. Now, now we can only wait. Here, for the end to come. The end is coming. We're fading. He's trying to summon Garuru Mano, no! Ah, oh, goodbye. Dialga. Ah! Dusnor! Oh. Celebi too. Yeah. Grovile. Grovile. Please tell me. My. My life. Did it shine? Yes. Extraordinarily. I am glad. I am. I am up to the very end. Not wavering. Honestly. I lived. Because of you, Grovile. Thanks to you. Thanks to you, I... I have no regrets. My dudes, I'm tearing up. I feel like I'm playing Kingdom Hearts again. Dusnor. Ah! The end. Me too. Me too, so slowly. Celebi. Celebi, are you all right? I don't feel so good, Mr. Grovile. Someone had to make the joke. Yes, I'm fine. You saw it here first, folks. Explorers of Sky did it before Infinity War. And did it better. This is... Oh, it's the morning sun. The sun is up. Can you see it, Celebi? It's the morning sun. 
this. This is... Is this the morning sun? I... I had no idea. A world in which the sun rises. It is so beautiful. The sun, I had no idea that it could be this warm. I... Being able to see the sun before the end. And... Being able to see it with you. I am really glad that I am alive. I am really glad. I am too. Goodbye, Grovile. I, I, I am so happy. Not ah! oh, there are all those rocks. Who put them up in the air to begin with? Dude, I love this frigging game. Man, it's good. Oh. We're still here. I... I didn't disappear. Why? That is true. We're not disappearing. I thought if history was changed, that would be the end. So, why is this? Still here. Wonderful. But I don't know why we were fading and then didn't disappear. But anyway, everyone is alive. Everyone is safe. Isn't this just an amazingly wonderful thing? If this happened, does that mean this was a miracle? Can we say that? No, it was no miracle. Dialga! Master Dialga! For a very long time, I saw only darkness. And during that time, the world became filled with chaos. You know, what's wrong with that, man? You got a, got a problem? Master Dialga! I take responsibility for it. Now that things have been resolved, I'll support this new world from here on out. This is Master Dialga's telepathy. I didn't know Dialga could do that. Wow. The land. The land, it turned green. Such, such a beautiful scene. This is Dialga's. This is Dialga's power. Master Dialga. Dialga, I have something I want to ask. Earlier when we did not disappear, you said it wasn't a miracle. But was it thanks to you? No, it was not me. I don't have the power necessary to stop you from disappearing. However, a being higher than myself, that being's power, could have done it. This was surely that power at work, I believe. And so, I must express my gratitude. It's wonderful that you've returned the world from darkness for me. I'm truly, truly grateful to you and the ones who stopped the planet's paralysis in the past. Your friends. That's right. We, we are still here. Solo, you too. I hope you're safe as well, if you didn't disappear either. Are you still alive? And Turtwig, you, the fate of Pokemon in the future when you changed history. 
my fate and that of Solo. I expect you'll find out later, but right now you're... What are you thinking? The wind. The light. If you can carry my message, please send it to Solo and Turtwig. Thanks to you, the future has been freed from darkness. And we, and the other Pokémon in the future, are safe. We didn't disappear. From now on, we're going to combine our strengths and rebuild this world. For Celebi, who has supported me all this way, after this... Above all, we... are still alive! What a brilliant light. Solo, Turtwig, can you hear me? We are still alive! Oh, man. Oh, that's so good, chat! Yeah, that higher power must be Arceus they're talking about. Oh my goodness, Stretch. We're just not allowed to name drop him or have him be in the game, apparently. Such a good special episode. I love that, man. About two and a half hours, and I loved every second of it. Oh, it's so good. The music, everything. I love this game. It is without a doubt my favorite Pokemon game. I cannot get over it. It still would have been a good ending, even if they still disappeared, but I'm going to be honest, I know there are a couple of people who don't like that they live in the end, but I love it. I love happy endings. Put in all the angst and stuff you want in the middle of a story, but by the end of it, I want happiness. And this is, this is like my ideal right here. I love it so much. All right, well, chat. AMA, we gotta sit through the credits for the sixth time now. Do we have to sit through the credits one more time after we finish the post-game story? I can't remember. We're at about two hours and 40 minutes. So we got about another half hour. We can do a little bit of stuff in the main story. this music. Remember Tales of the Abyss? Tales of the Abyss also had a really sick ending. The end. I gotta play Tales of the Abyss again someday. This is a very good game. I need to play Zillia again before that. I still need to do Mila's story on the channel eventually. I love that game. I wish it was on, like, PlayStation 4 or something so it would be easier for me to do it. Well, there you have it, everyone. All of the special episodes are done. They're all finished. So... Let's continue the main story.